Hi, my name's Marcus, and I'm also known as Link Steam. Okay, so you want to make your mold for your stator, and I um, use melamine board because it's very, very flat. It's very rigid. You won't have any warps. Um, cut it smooth. So you'll want to use a mold release wax. Um, I use this one, um, and you just want to you just want to really coat it good. Rub it in all the corners. I put it on pretty thick at first, and then you can buff it a little bit so you don't have lumps. Now I'm going to install bearings right into the casting of the stator. So I've I've really jammed in some wax in areas where I don't want the polyester resin to go. And these will line up right on these posts. These are waxed as well. And I've got these screws here so I can take the mold apart and pop these out pretty easy. Um, you want to get your coils set up so that once you're ready to go you don't have to fool with them because you don't want to get your fingers in this stuff. Um, you're going to want your coils to lay right down in there nice and flat. Triple check your wiring, make sure it's correct. Go over it and over it, make sure everything's linked together the correct way and you know which leads are coming out. You can, um, with an ohmmeter, check later which, which of these leads are the same, but you know, you want to take your time, make sure it's right. You want to pre cut your fiberglass mat to lay in there. That'll help strengthen the polyester resin. And then I've got a spacer here so that my bearings don't go in too deep. So that'll lay in there just even with the stator. So you want to set your uh, coils into the stator mold and um, make sure everything's set to go. So I've got everything lined up. I've got lines in here to show exactly where the coils need to be. Everything's centered. Everything's ready to go. Got my bearings there. It's not like this is going to happen real fast. You have time to do stuff, but I like to just think it through and make sure I have everything together. And just get yourself a nice little gradated bucket. And think it through, make your marks. Real, real easy to use. So we'll mix some up and get it going. So we'll mix. Mix these now. And I'll fill it to my line. Put in the hardener. And you want to thoroughly stir this. Don't stir it too aggressively or you're going to get bubbles. It's nice and smooth. So it's all one color. The hardener is actually an amber color. So you're going to be able to tell when you've got it mixed in nice. If you do get bubbles, They'll probably rise to the top and pop, but not not always. So you don't you don't want to stir it real aggressive, just nice and smooth. So really, this is all about prep time. Actually, pouring the, the staters is not hard at all. It just takes a few minutes. Double check, make sure everything's nice and straight. I like to fill the the coils first. Let's just go around and fill them. Now these two coil plates are, are mirror image of each other when you put them together. And on these, these are three quarter inch thick, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill them to the top. Set our bearings in. They're nice and waxed so they'll pull out. I'm just going to press them in until the flange hits. Okay, we're done. So you can see we have a few bubbles. We'll let it set up just a little while and then we'll go ahead and pop those and this will be a nice finished product. You can paint it later or leave it clear. It's kind of fun to see the coils. All right, here's the rotor plate. There's uh, four very, very strong magnets. They each have a 90 pound pull and uh, basically they just press in 
to the rotor plate. And then that's, of course, going to sit between. We'll spin that. That'll give us our alternating current. It's on a half inch shaft. Nothing magic about that. It's pretty simple.